Let's start off with the Philadelphia Eagles. Everyone is off the Philadelphia Eagles. Why? I can't really tell you. Sure, Nick Sirianni makes some interesting play calls and some interesting decisions. He also has led this team to a Super Bowl with Jalen Hurts at quarterback. Also, the team is 2-1. and one. Also, if Saquon Barkley did not drop a pass on fourth down, they would be a stellar 3-0 going into this game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it's really interesting to me. We like to pick and choose who we like and who we don't like in the NFL. The media has tried to convince us that Nick Seriani is a weirdo who can't coach. This is his third season as the Philadelphia Eagles head coach. Sorry, fourth season. The first one, they made the playoffs and lost to well, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. His second season, they went to the Super Bowl. His third season, they went and played Tampa Bay again and lost on the road in the playoffs. And now they're two and one. I don't understand why everyone is so ready to jump off the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't necessarily think that they are the best team in the NFC, but they have a roster full of studs. And let's start off by talking about the biggest stud, and that's Saquon Barkley. Oh my. Saquon Barkley has been really damn good. He's probably the offensive player of the year right now, and he has been unstoppable in a Philadelphia Eagles uniform. Let's not forget, he's running behind a pretty good offensive line that lost Jason Kelsey, their heart and soul. Haven't missed a beat on the running game. Of course, there are some concerns for the Eagles. We can talk about Jalen Hurts, who has not had his best season and has turned over the ball quite a bit. Last week, they were without A.J. Brown, their best wide receiver. They went to New Orleans. What did they do? Oh, they won in New Orleans, one of the toughest places to play in the NFL, and a team that was 2-0 and in the Saints that everyone was talking about being actually pretty good. So how does the media react? Oh, he had a weird fourth down play in the first half. The Eagles are all about analytics. Now, my problem with it is, well, yeah, I know. Sirianni actually vetoed the play called by Kellen Moore and did his own thing and went rogue. Probably shouldn't do that. But that's not a reason to jump off this football team. I like the Eagles this week against the Buccaneers to go 3-1. and one. I still like the Philadelphia Eagles to win their division. I still like Nick Sirianni as a head coach. And I love the addition of Saquon Barkley. Saquon has been an absolute stud his whole career. Looks like he was stuck in a bad organization with the New York Giants. And now you were seeing him shine with the Philadelphia Eagles. Please, someone explain to me why everyone's so ready to jump off the Philadelphia Eagles train.